Hi, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to one of my videos. If you have a Honeywell thermostat like we do, and you want to take it off, whether that might be to paint around it or to replace it, then this is the video for you. So, I mean, if you want to paint it, then you can always just use painter's tape and just wrap it around it. But it's probably just better and faster to just take off the thermostat. If you're not dealing with any of the wiring, then you don't need to turn the power off that goes to the thermostat. If you're painting it though, it's probably a good idea to turn off the power beforehand. But just to take it out, it's pretty simple. Look at the bottom. There is a little notch there, a little hole. All right, so we wanna take a look at the bottom of the thermostat and you're gonna notice that there's a hole at the bottom or a little notch. And so, can you hold this for me? It's pretty simple. You want to take a flathead screwdriver like this. Doesn't need to be small or big, just needs to fit in the notch. And you want to press it against the back corner, the back corner of that notch. And then simply just lift up. And as easy as that, this is dislodged. Now you can simply take this out. So looking at the back of it, you'll notice there are three points where it's fixed to the wall. This is the main point that we just uh, you know, we just used a lever to uh, pry out. And you can see kind of how it works. And with these ones, they're, e they're very easy to come out as soon as, you just as soon as you just have this bottom part out. You know, it just comes off. So, very simple. I know this is kind of a, a dumb video. You know, it's pretty easy to understand. Oh, this is how you take off a thermostat. But let's say that maybe you lost a manual and you want to take out the thermostat without damaging anything. Because that can happen, you might be able to just rip this off and end up breaking one of these pins in the process. Okay, and so to put it back on, you simply just orient it in the right way. The Honeywell should be on top. And we're gonna start on the top and then press down on the top and then press down on the bottom. There we go. And as you can see, it turns back on. Easy as pie. And I'm gonna show you to demonstrate just how fast it is to take it out simple. All right. And uh, if you do decide that you're taking, if you are taking this off to paint the wall, it's a good idea to cover the electronics with tape just to make sure you don't cause any short circuits while you're painting it. And then you want to unscrew these two screws holding the panel to the wall and then just pull it out. You don't need to fully take the panel out. You just need to have it hanging out the wall with the wires. And then you're gonna be able to access the wall behind it to paint it. Okay, so we have the power turned off. And I'll show you right now. It's very easy to just take out these two screws. And then pull them out. And then uh, I'll put these down and then simply just pull this out and let it hang. And now, see, very easy to just paint behind it. Okay, so I'm Ayman and I just showed you how to take off and reinstall the thermos uh, a Honeywell thermostat. And also how to take off the back panel in case you want to access behind it for painting it. In our case, we're taking everything out so that we can reinstall the same thermostat because as you can see, we broke it during our first installation. Well, we didn't break it, but we broke some parts on it. And we just want to replace it with something that's more pristine. So go check out that video, and I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and like other videos on Ayman, and I'll see you there. For now, signing out. Peace.